Let's see how we can mobilize in this game. Let's just block the pawn here. Well, defend the pawn, supporting position and position. So castle in king safety. And smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong usually. Let's just uh, attack this bishop. Let's capture. And we could leave the bishop there. Yeah, probably so. Let's just attack the knight. And capture the knight. So it's kind of been simplified in a way. So it's aiming to look like it's going to be some type of draw. I'm going to x-ray through to the queen. need to potentially get this pawn man maneuvered and if we attack the knight then if the knight takes the bishop takes the queen so we'll get the knight and there'll be some funky exchange here I might not take the second move we'll see how it looks so the queen probably just moves back still wanting to defend the area we take the knight takes the we take the bishop the queen takes then I think there's a we win the tempo don't we because if the queen takes then we win the queen for free in a sense has it improved our position um ish because we could come here but do we and to aim to go here is there anything that can block that let's give that a try although his queen could come here to attack our bishop so it kind of slows the process down Mm. I hate those positions where you're, you're almost there. Yeah, it just gets there in time. So I'm going to have to bring my queen here. Do we lose out? I think we'll probably end up losing out, which is a shame. So I'm going to have to try and do some distraction work. Oh, he's doing distraction work on me. So I'm going to have to... Um, oh, looks like I'm going to have to sacrifice the bishop for the two pawns. Because this pawn's going to drop here. So I'm going to have to sacrifice it. For the two pawns to be in front of the king. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Oh, oh, he's not doing that. Okay, so he's letting us keep the bishop. I don't know if that was a good thing because we can actually still attack here or attack the rook here. Uh, simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board. You'd think queen takes, then obviously, then we take, and then we're, we're a minor piece up. I'm just thinking, is there a squish? Bishop takes, then on the rook, but then the rook then just moves to the side. So, uh, I think I'm just going to have to go simple. It looks a little bit too fuzzy. I might lose the advantage. I already had lost the kind of advantage if the opponent had played it kind of correctly. Our bishop can escape. I'm going to push through here, see if we can open up some space around the king. So I think we've got a bit long more. Am, am I blocking my bishop again? I need to wake up, don't I? Let's bring this here. Maybe not. Might be panicking for nothing. So we'll go back and have a look at the... Um, Situation that I was worried about with the pawns taking if they had done Time's running out. Do we fix the bishop there? No, because then he's just gonna so I'm gonna have to bring it back here and not trap the bishop anymore No more let's keep going here Right, so okay, they're, they're taken. Shall we own with the rook? bit more focus this time it's you get very giddy you see when you you see that there's some type of potential squish on the king so rook comes to defend we can take looking to trade down we're on the pawns here so one of them pawns is going Uh, maybe not today. Uh, so if we challenge this pawn, make space to attack this pawn with the bishop, maybe. Okay, but does the king come up and attack the rook? So do we get rid of the rook? Um, it's probably going to come down for the bishop. Oh, it's not actually. So let's go here. 
so this might be a res resignation now. Let's just um, elevate the king and keep going up. Okay, right, um, pretty smooth, but need to look at the analysis on this one and just have a look at this situation here. Let's fly through all of these. Shall we put this up? No, not just yet. So I went there, went there, went there. Tacked, attacked. So then we have to go here. Then look to sacrifice. So the expectation will be there, there, and then here. And grab and then grab. So it would be plus two, you know, so that would be okay for us with plus two. So we could probably potentially try and make that work uh, quite nicely. Just making space for the rooks maybe, owning the files. All right, so that would, that would have worked. And let's have a look at what the computer's saying now. It's gonna be laughing in my face. Okay, so then they push down, we move back. Still showing minus nine, so we're winning, so not to panic. And it's minus 11 with that pawn push. Whoa, okay, that's probably because we're going to end up with two pawns up. So we did capture, so it's minus six. It doesn't like that capture. What is it actually saying there? Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Queen taking the pawn. <laughs> was the panic about boom and then we're squeezing in here oh my days oh so we captured uh, it's still minus nine type thing then we captured um, we're up a minor piece anyway so nothing to get in a flop about but oh my days look at that I didn't see I was so focused on the fact that my bishop's getting squished I didn't even have to do that. It's all a learning curve, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm.